Hello, my name is Hector Velasquez, and welcome to GCS AA Inside the Shop. If you work on golf equipment, chances are at some point you're going to be dealing with hydraulic hoses. In this next episode, we're going to show you how to take care of this problem on a tight budget. So there's nothing worse than a hydraulic leak out there on the turf. It doesn't look good, and it's a lot of labor to try to fix. Now, while we may not be able to prevent 100% of the leaks, I believe with a little PM, we can prevent a lot of them. Now, here's some of the things that I do in my shop to try to help alleviate any possible leakage out there on the turf. Every time a piece of equipment comes into my shop, hydraulic hoses get checked, period. I check all the hoses and all the fittings. Here's what I look for. I look for damaged fittings or cracked fittings or even loose fittings. It happens. Also, on these hoses that have these really tight radius, you want to extra eye on those. You want to make sure that nothing weird is happening there, that the hose is twisting. Look for abrasion to the hose. This hose is going to need replaced. Now, if you have a leak, use a piece of cardboard. These systems are under high intense pressure and can inject hydraulic fluid into your skin. Not good. So now, what are some of our options? Well, we can buy the hydraulic hose or parts through our OEM, that's a great option. Also, if you have a local hydraulic shop or even auto parts store, a lot of them make custom hydraulic hoses. Personally, I like to have my own system in the shop. That way, as I have the equipment on the lift, if I see a potential problem, I can change it out right away. Easy to do, here I am measuring out a hose. We have this cutter here, I like this cutter a lot. If you look closely here, this has a metal blade that cuts the hose. It's a really nice, clean cut. So it's good on hydraulic hoses especially. All right, so let's turn this baby on. We're gonna get our hose pressed in there. Looks really good, nice and clean, which is really important. All right, let's get the fitting on this thing. Now I'm gonna size up the fitting. I wanna make sure that I have that hose bottom down inside that fitting as far as it'll go. So I'm gonna mark it, slide my fitting on, and I'm right down at the mark. So I know I'm bottomed out. It's a 45 degree fitting, so I want it to fit naturally with the radius of the hose. Now, make sure you read your crimper's manual. Make sure you know how to operate it correctly. This is the proper die for the size fitting that I'm using. Now, if you notice or look closely here on this fitting, there's indication marks. I'm supposed to line this fitting up on the die with those marks. Now I'm ready for my spacer. We're gonna turn on the crimper and we're gonna leave it on until that spacer bottoms out. We wanna make sure we get a good crimp. And it looks good. Now to verify our crimp, we're gonna measure the diameter of the crimp and compare that to the crimper's specs. And it looks good. All right, now, once you installed your new hose, we want to keep this from happening. So here's one option that you can use. Here's a perfect example. We have these hoses that are rubbing up against the frame here. That's going to be a problem if we don't take care of it. So we got these covers that you can get at your hydraulic shop and just lay it over the hose. Now you can also use an old radiator hose. Wrap a few zip ties around that and now that hose is protected up against the frame and we're good to go. Being able to identify the signs of a hose that's getting ready to give is invaluable. I want to thank you for joining me here today on GCSAA Inside the Shop, where we're helping technicians one wrench at a time.